Hello my friends, how's everyone doing today? I hope you are having a great day and that you, if you're a crafter or a junk journal maker or junk journaler, that you have had some time to do those things that you love today or this past week or you will have time in the next week. Um, I have so much fun with my crafting that I just hope everyone else gets to have that same type of fun. I don't do, I don't get to do it every day, so a few days a week, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I want to show you my next project. I kind of showed you this cover uh, once or twice in my videos recently, and so I started working on this cover as a journal cover for my for a fall journal. Uh, it was inspired by I had this book, but I really hadn't planned making it into a fall journal. And then Mardell sent me the little witch. Halloween book and I made a journal out of that and so it inspired me to use another uh, cardstock cover book to make a journal out of and look how cute this is turning out so I'm going to show you the back and the front in just a second but I want to ask a question and if you would let me know in the comments uh, your answer that would help me a great deal so I did a video where I sewed this around this journal and I also sewed some of my strips in that journal. And I don't know, I just got a little bee in my bonnet and I thought, oh, let me just do a sewing video. <laughs> but I haven't posted it because I don't know if I should. Like, I don't know if, if that's something you want to see. <clears throat> so if you could, um, even if you don't usually comment on my videos, if you could comment this time and let me know, do you want to see the video where I'm sewing around this journal, uh, this book cover, the front and the back and, you, and sewing on strips or you know if you don't want to see it don't comment because I don't want to <laughs> you know, I don't like negative comments but if you do and if I don't get any then I'll know like okay nobody wants to see that but if I get you know a, you know if I get how many would I need to post that video um you know because I know I know how it is you watch on TV or whatever and you can't always comment but if you could come up if I could get 10 or 12 comments saying yes post your then I would know for sure yes that's definitely you know I don't need 12 isn't a lot but it's not two it's more than two so anyway I know that's kind of a you know I should just probably just post it and see what happens but I kind of just wanted to see you know I still might post it even if I just get two but I just want to see what the interest might be in a video where I'm sewing. So uh, anyway, let's get to today's video. So I wanted to show you the cover and maybe work on some paper, you know, pages and show you um, the papers I'm going to use. I just uh, the fall journal is going to be quite different from my Halloween journals. It's going to be strictly fall, not really any Halloween. So this little book is called Apples and Pumpkins. And it did have some jack-o'-lanterns and things in here, but I used those in uh, one of my Halloween journals. So what's left is basically kind of just pumpkin and apples pages. So here's the cover. You can see I added this fabric and some rickrack. And that's this is going to be metal coils or whatever, oh coils. And so I wanted to strengthen this side of the, you know, this is considered a paperback book, but it's card, you know, it's thick cardstock. But uh, so I wanted to strengthen this side. Plus, look how pretty. And then uh, I didn't sew around the last Halloween journal that I made. I just didn't even think of it. And this time I did think of it. I was like, oh, why don't I sew around this? Just at least for the stitching, look of stitching, even if it doesn't really need it. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. So here's the front cover. Here's the inside. I lined it with another piece of cardstock so that further strengthens the cover. As you can probably see, it's pretty. You know, two layers of cardstock is pretty strong. And then also the fabric and rick rack are on this side. And then you can see the stitching here, uh, how pretty it is. And I used a light green thread uh, on it too. I didn't want to overpower the picture here with a dark green thread, so I used a light green. And you'll see this light green is pretty much the same color as the back cover. So let me show you that. Here's the back cover. Look how cute it is with the pumpkin and apples. And here's... <coughs> <coughs> I feel like I got a piece of dust in my throat. 
Anyway, so you can see the light green thread here really is the same color as this back cover and then same cardstock and uh, fabric here. And I, but the reason I used this color, I pulled it out of a fall paper pad, you know, 12 by 12 scrap of paper pad that I have that is all cardstock and used it here because I wanted to put something here and on the inside of the cover, front cover, where I wouldn't be afraid, not necessarily afraid, but I wouldn't not want to cover it up, you know what I mean? Because if I put really cute paper here, then I'm going to be like, oh, I'm not going to cover up those cute little pumpkins, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I wanted to put something here that I could put a pocket there, because I really like the pockets that I put in the, the uh, Halloween little witch journal, little wi green-haired witchy journal <laughs> that was so cute. Uh, I put pockets in there, and it was really, I really liked that, so I wanted to be able to put pockets in here too, something similar to that. And then here's the pages that are left from this book. It is a vintage, little vintage book. Um, this is, I guess I have it backwards, let me turn it around. Uh, here's the title page, and it is from 1989. And look at the cute little pages here. Let me just flip through real quick because they're so adorable. <laughs> and so you can see that they're they're very fall. There's a little a farmyard with the pumpkin patch. Oh my goodness. And then we've got, they're going to pick um, apples and pumpkins, I guess. Here's the family with the big apple basket there. Have you ever gone apple picking? Let me know in the comments. I have. But I never did until I moved to, I only went orange and grapefruit picking in Florida and lemon picking and all the citrus fruit picking in Florida, because I'm from Florida, if you're new to my channel. And then uh, when I moved here, we went to, started, we got a little flyer in our mail. As soon as we moved here, we got a little flyer in our mail. There's the turkeys and the chickens and ducks. Anyway, we got a little flyer that was about a church that was nearby. So we went to that church and one of the first years, the apples apple trees one of the first little kind of outings and fun things they did was going apple picking and I was like oh my goodness what a fall North Carolina thing to do <laughs> and so we went to an orchard there are orchards of course in North Carolina but they were happening they were going to an orchard um, just we were very close to the Virginia line so we went to apple picking in Virginia just over the line there went to Virginia and did some apple picking that day and that was a lot of fun. Our kids were younger of course 20 years ago. Uh oh I left these out. That was the first pages right? Oh here we go like this. Anyway yeah so our kids were like five and let's see six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve three five and thirteen <laughs> I think my boys were so that was a fun time for them too to go apple picking. And we did bring home a bunch of apples, so that was fun. But uh, <clears throat> there's that. The, there's the book so far. So anyway, yeah, let me know if you've ever gone apple picking <laughs> in the comments. Uh, so uh, here are some papers. So I pulled out one of my collage papers. These are the papers where I did not glue these down on a surface. I just glued the papers together. And as you can see... They are holding together nicely. I glue them together with art glitter glue to make sure they would hold. So I'm gonna cut this in half like this and use it in here. So I've already got it folded. I have these uh, ready to go now and folded like this. So if I wanna put them in a journal like this, they're all ready to go. I might have to make it smaller, but uh, uh, right now I'm going to cut this. Let's cut it this way right in half. I picked out one that didn't have really any directional paper on it to put in here so I could turn it sideways and not have to worry about, you know, I mean I wouldn't worry about it too much anyway, but I just wanted, didn't want to have to worry about anything really super directional, so. I mean there's some words here, but see I'm not going to, I'm not worried about that at all. So let's see how we did here. So this would go in here somewhere. I think I'm going to leave this. I really like that as a starter page, the title page for the book. And then I can just start putting pages in here, like one here, and I'll put one back here so they're not right together, you know, type of thing. So there's a couple. And then I have this. This is a record 
sleeve. So it's uh, craft colored, as you can see. It was a very vintage. Uh, I still have the cover. I'm going to, this came in a cover with records in it. I got it at a, in a thrift store in Florida, which is no longer there, unfortunately, because I love that thrift store. It closed after or during COVID or, you know, that thing. I'm not supposed to say that. You're, you could get your video flagged if you say that word in your video. But um, I didn't say it. You didn't hear that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a whole record album. I have the, the cover that I want to make a journal cover out of. And I already sold the records. I took all the records out and put them in one bundle and sold it in my Etsy shop. Which I have an eBay shop now. I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't have my Etsy shop anymore. And then um, kept these too. So I don't know if I've used any of these yet. But I'm using one in here. And it will fit. So I already figured that out. So <laughs> let's put this here. And then see this will be a pocket. That someone can put something, a picture or whatever. I'll probably put a piece of paper or two in there uh, for the journal. You know, after I bind it, I'll put some paper in there. And then they can, whoever gets this, will be able to take that out or leave it in, whatever they want to do, and have something. See, look, oh, look at that even. Look how cute. See, uh, maybe I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> That's so cute, just like that with the little girl in the window. But then they can put a picture in there. If they want so I thought that was really cool and I've been wanting to use some of those and trying to you know keep that in the back of my mind so when I <clears throat> had an opportunity I could use you know put that in a journal where it would fit into so when I was doing this I was like well, let me see if the one of those will fit in here so here is a manuscript music you know music um, page um, I do like to when it has you know I take the spirals out when I get something like this and turn it around so that the spirals on the outside the holes and then somebody can put something through there uh, so if in order to leave the holes I'll have to cut off or do something with this side the sides too it's too uh, long here or too wide so let's see let's measure <clears throat> need to cut a little sliver off the top so it's not too you know long and then on this side let's make a little fold here and see if we can just fold and not um, you know what I could do let me let me do it this way I think this is big enough for a a little puck spot here so I'm just going to keep it there where it's going to be bound right there and then make a fold over here see that's enough for a tuck spot a nice little tuck spot here or a fold whatever whatever it ends up being so I've been lately just <clears throat> usually maybe once in a while I'll glue it down but I've been just usually, you know, folding it like this, and then the person that gets the journal can decide, do they want to put glue here and here and have a tuck spot, or do they want to leave it as a fold out? So, or they could even cut it off and use it for something else. So, uh, anyway, uh, just a little sliver off the top or bottom here. Let's take a sliver off the bottom so it's not too, you know, long this way. So... Yeah, I'm excited about this because, and I didn't, I mean, I was excited about it, but when I started pulling papers out, I even got more excited because it's going to be, you know, I enjoyed so much my Halloween journals, and a lot of years I've made, you know, Halloween journals, and they're kind of like fall slash Halloween, so doing one that's strictly uh, fall made me pull out different papers than I would if it was combined with Halloween. So that was really fun because I could have pulled out a lot more. I was like, oh, this will go and that'll go. And this, and you know, I was just like, okay, that's enough for now. <laughs> I need more. I'll pull out more. So I was like, I was ready to pull out all my papers. You, you'll see when I get, when we, as I show you the papers. Uh, here is a guest uh, book page. These are good for you know, whenever I see a journal or a something like this or, you know, some kind of something like this where it has a wider kind of um, page, I get it because I, I think it's cool to have these pages uh, available that are kind of like not your normal page, kind of a little bit wider like this. I, I hope that makes sense. But uh, look how almost, this is almost perfect. I mean, it, I think it is perfect. 
I might just see it's almost like it's going to be a little bit too like I just need a sliver and this is a little rough over here so maybe I'll just cut that rough edge off and that'll be it, perfect for this this book cover and this journal cover perfect size I don't think I need to cut off any of it it's got a little bit of leeway here on the top and the bottom and so yeah I'm just kind of inserting these in between the pages right now I could always rearrange later but great writing page right or you can glue things and decorate so there's another page I pulled out this is a coffee dyed piece of this was scrapbook paper that you see the beautiful little cute little sun there but it was you know all this was white and it was like a lot of white <laughs> so I I coffee dyed it it was a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I apparently cut it down to, to this anyway um, let's see this is going to be a little I need to cut a sliver off let's cut it there's a little uh, there's a little snail right here <laughs> I don't want to cut him off, but um, I think if I just cut a little sliver off, there's a cloud here. So there's nothing right here up to the snail, but I don't need to cut that much off. Let me see. About a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. So I'll be able to keep the snail and uh, cut off enough so it will be the perfect size for this journal. Let's do that. Okay. See how we did. That's perfect. Okay, so again, this is too long this way, but I think I will. Uh, I think I will turn it this way and fold this sun in. So to make it the perfect size, and I don't have to cut the sun off. I can leave it like that. And again, that can be a tuck spot or a fold out and isn't that cute see now this adds a little bit of something to this side with the Sun being folded over this plain side let me make sure that's square and then um, then this side has the grass with the snail <laughs> I think that's good for fall <laughs> um, yeah I just ran across that when I was looking for I was looking for I thought I had some coffee dyed Braille paper but I couldn't, I guess I used it all because I couldn't find any, but I have braille paper. I did have some, I haven't coffee dyed. So I, I have some braille paper here, which you'll see in, in a second probably. Uh, here's some cool paper. I have a few of these, uh, like a diagram or a blueprint type paper. It's not blueprint, it's more of a copy of a blueprint maybe. I don't know, but it's electrical and it's on this long paper, and I have no idea where I got this. I have no idea, but it's too big. I need to cut it, so I could cut it like this. So either way, it's too big. Um, this way, it has more sticking now, I think, than this. So I could cut a piece off the end here, like this. Okay, so let's make a little, let's make a little fold. This is an electrical drawing, and it has it says plate pocket right there, and it's kind of finished paper, but you know it's cool. It's, you can see it's crinkly, especially since I coffee dyed it, and it um, it's just cool paper. It's very unique, right? Let's cut this. Uh, I'm trying to see my fold there. Got a shadow going on over here where I can't see. Okay, that I'm causing with my arm, <laughs> causing it, I'm causing the shadow. So um, let's see how this goes. So you know, I don't like to make every page a fold out. You know what I mean? So let's see if we cut the sides off a little bit off of each side. I think this will be be, be good because it's just plain over here, and this will be this will be a fun page. So yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna. I'm going to get all, what do I have pulled out here? I'm going to get some of each of these papers that I have pulled out here into the into this journal. And then I'm going to, I've cut off about half an inch. Let's see if that's enough. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm going to get one of each of these pages I pulled out here. And then I'm going to go looking for some other fun things. <laughs> so um, we'll see how what videos I'm able to do. Oh, and yeah, I have. I hope I can get show you all the pages I pulled out because I have. Let's put that to the side. I could put more of that in. This other side is plain, I think. Oh no, it has some a little bit of the diagram right there. So yeah, we'll see what I if I end up putting any more of that in. Uh, let's do the braille paper next because I told, told you I had braille paper. Here it is, just regular. Um, it's just straight out of the. I found it was like a miracle one day. <laughs> I found I went after work like I never go to to the thrift store after work, but I hadn't gotten to go. I don't know. I just had an urge to go. I don't know. It's do you ever do that? Like you, you have this um, undeniable urge to go to the thrift store, like. And like I said, I went after work when I never go. And something, it's like something is telling you, you got to go to the thrift store today. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that, that does happen to me. And then I end up finding like that day that I had the undeniable urge to go after work when I never go. And I found like all of these Braille books from a school that I think it was there from a school that apparently donated them and uh, I've never found any again never found any again that one day I found a bunch and I sold a bunch of it in my in my shop but I kept some too you know I had to keep some <laughs> I was like you know it wouldn't be smart of me to not to keep any right because it sold like hotcakes you know, because it's something very unique, right? It's all like hotcakes. And I was like, okay, i got to stop now. No more. I can't sell anymore. i got to keep some for me. Because <laughs> I, you know, once in a while I'll be like, you know, I'm just going to, this is very popular. I'm just going to sell it all. But this, this, I kept some of this. So. And I'm glad I did too, because it's just so cool. So you can uh, highlight these the dots in um, with some thing like some distress ink. I'm not going to. I'll leave that for the person that gets this to decide what they want to do. But it is very interesting. I'm glad I could, you know, recycle it and it could because nobody. I don't think anybody else would have bought it, but somebody like me. You know what I mean? A junk journaler or somebody that was going to craft with it. So. Um, yeah. I'm glad I can put it, give it a new purpose, right? Okay, so we've got, I think we've got a page in between each page already. So I'll have to start adding second pages in between each page because definitely adding a lot more paper. So here is some coffee dyed music paper. Let's measure this. So something like <clears throat> this. Now if there's something that you don't like on like this title or something on it, this music paper, just use that as a challenge or an inspiration. Same with book pages. If you find a word or something you don't like on a book page or anything like that, just use it as a inspiration to decorate, cover up, whatever, glue something over, whatever you don't like. <laughs> don't use it. Don't just don't. Just get discouraged and be like, oh my goodness, that's in my journal. What am I going to do now? Just, just, you know, the best things can happen when you do something like that. And use your imagination and use that inspiration to add a little cluster or something. Some other little word or just, you know, anything. Just anything that you can come up with. Okay, so here is this one. Now it's a little too wide this way. I'm just going to cut another little sliver off here. So I've been doing something really fun, <laughs> which I'll show you another, in another video this week. My uh, mobile crafting videos. I've been doing something really fun this week. Yeah, well, I've been doing a bunch of really fun things, but one thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. Let's see, let's just start adding a second page in between each one. So that'll go there. I kind of want to add more than one music page. Let's see. So this one was the same size as that other one. 
that we just put in, but another little sliver off the side. I think music paper is just so cool to add in every journal. I just really like music paper. And I have a lot of it, so I need to I need to use it. I don't know what I, I think I'm gonna put scrap of paper back here as the last page. So I think I'll go ahead and add this. And then I'll have pretty scrap of paper here. Well I gotta show you the back the scrap of paper before this is over. Let me show you the other papers I have. This is coffee dyed like the computer paper with the tracks. So I'll be adding that. I have um, want to pull out a page from my Edith Holden. This is one that I've already taken apart and uh, you know taken the cover off, and I have the pages here. I want to so I want to add uh, at least uh, one Edith Holden page out of that book. I have this. This is another Edith Holden book. See, this is the regular country diary of an Edwardian lady, and this is the Nature Notes. And then I was, when I was getting these out, I saw this. This is a, like, how to draw a book. And these colors just screamed fall at me. So I, I've already used some of this book, but I have a lot left here. As you can see, look how beautiful these colors are for fall. Look at that. So I'm going to pull the page out of there, at least one, and put it in there. And then here's my scrap of paper. Two pages I've pulled out so far. This pretty one here with this you know, pretty foil uh, on it, and this, these, this one with the pretty pumpkins, these are one side, so I'll be white on the back, so I can make some pockets for the other side, and then I have an Ideals Magazine, the Thanksgiving edition, this one I haven't used at all yet, um, the only one that I have open right now that I've used some pages out of is a Christmas one, and I've looked through that first, and there was really no, it was just Christmas and winter, in the Christmas edition, so I need to start using this one now. So let's, I want to do the scrapbook paper with you, maybe at least one of these before uh, my time is up today. So I want, but I want to show you all the papers I pulled out so far. You see what I mean? Like I had to stop myself and say, mm, let's just see how far we get with these and, <laughs> and go from there. So uh, let's see, let's measure here. Oh, there's something on there. That was not anything I, I got on there, I don't think. That's just, it was on there, okay. That doesn't mean it hurt. I'm gonna make a pocket here anyway. So I think I'm gonna make a pocket on the bottom of this. So we'll be folding it up like this. Let me make sure I have my top in the correct, there we go. And then the bottom, we'll have to cut some of this off, but I'm just, this is how I do pockets usually. Not. This is a different shape, though, that I'm used to, right? So, anyway, we're just going with this shape that we're using for this journal. So, let's fold that there, and then we'll cut some of this off. Let's see, where do I want to cut it? Let's decide. I don't want to make a fold all the way across, but it's about right there, maybe. That'll cover up that spot, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, so, yeah, I just took these out of the... I just took these out of the paper pad, so they've just been sitting here, so nothing could have gotten on it, so it had to be from already on there, right? <laughs> uh, where did I get these paper pads? I don't know. <laughs> I think I got them at Tuesday morning. Uh, possibly. Okay, so there's a nice little strip there we can use for something. Here's my pocket, so it's going to be like this, and then I need to cut this off here. So about right there, I make a little fold there so I can see where to cut. And, oops, watch the blade, Sherry. You don't want to cut yourself. <laughs> uh, okay, this is fun, right? Okay, so it's going to be like this, and I'll glue the sides down later, but let's just see. Let's just look how pretty. I love the blue pumpkins in there. Okay, so I said I wanted a pretty one in the back. Let's get put this pumpkin one in the back, and that'll be pretty like this. We'll have a pocket here, and then <clears throat> it'll be like that, and it's done. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm tempted. I have that paper pad. I had This is the first I've used it. 
and I haven't used it uh, before, so I'm tempted to put another one here. I might put another piece of scrapbook paper here just to protect this, this paper, the book page. And then, you know, instead of having this as my first page, I do like to kind of cover my signatures with cardstock page to protect it at least. So here's the other one that we I showed you. So let's make another page. And then my time's going to be up. So let's get this one done. And then we'll go from there, working on this journal. And I'll hopefully be able to do some more on video. We'll see. Um, I usually don't do, like I could do a whole nother video on adding pages, but you know, I think at that point you're, you get tired, like one is usually enough. And then if I do a second one, no one watches. <laughs> Oops, wait a minute. Uh, pocket, pocket, leave room for the pocket, you know, so, or hardly anybody watches. So that's why I only do one video, usually working on the pages and then go from there. Oh, you know what we can do? We can add trims next. Maybe trims and clusters or something like that. We'll see. That would be fun, right? Let's see what kind of trims I have for a Thanksgiving, not really Thanksgiving, fall journal. Okay, another strip. And this one will have a pocket too. Like this. Get a folded square there. And make a nice crease. And cut the width about right, doo -doo -doo, right, about right there. Yeah, I thought this paper was pretty, and I didn't want to like that pumpkin paper I just showed you that I made for the other page. I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I should save it. And I'm like, no. Sherry, you are going to use it in this journal. <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's how, that's my that's my I don't think I'm really a hoarder, but I, I'm a saver, like I need to save that for something special <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> but this is special, so I'm using it. Okay, so I don't think I want I don't know if I want that for my first page. I might get another pumpkin page. See, I only brought one in here. <laughs> Saving the other ones, right? But uh, I think I'm going to use this in here. I mean, I'm going to use this in here, but I think I want another pumpkin page to match the back page. So I'm going to go grab it and make another one like this for the front. That will look beautiful. And then we'll put this one in the middle somewhere, maybe right here. And there we go. A good start on our pages already. And look how cool already. And that's just pages. We don't even have any trims or anything in there yet but look at the cover i love the cover so much i'm so glad that i was inspired by mardell's book so thank you for watching today i hope you enjoyed the start of this fall journal and we'll continue to uh, watch my other videos don't forget to subscribe and hit that button and all so that you'll get notifications on my next videos and if you wouldn't mind hitting the like oh i got to show you two more things you wouldn't mind hitting the like and uh, leaving that comment. Remember uh, whether or not I should post a sewing video and whether or not you've been apple picking. <laughs> Very important questions. And then uh, this I pulled out for, I want to use this as a pocket. So see how cute it would be as a pocket on a page. Just perfect little um, border. It's a wallpaper border. And this one I haven't opened yet. I hope my video will not cut me off here, but let me show you. This this is um, some wallpaper I haven't used yet, a wallpaper border, but I thought it would be pretty as a page in here too because it's the, the height. Wow, this is brand new wall covering from Eyes and Heart. <laughs> oh, it's gonna peel off pretty nice here. And I thought I was gonna open it before the video, but I thought, well, let me see what happens during the video. Okay, oh, that's just going to peel right off. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, let me get rid of that. I hear a little doggy outside. That is Juno. I gave her a nickname, uh, June Bug. So <laughs> she may be in some of my future videos. But anyway, look at how this is so perfect for a page. It's I just have to cut a piece off 
and that will be a beautiful page in here and of course it's wallpaper so it's nice and strong and there's nothing on the back of these so lots of room for whatever uh, you can you could do anything on wallpaper right like it's so strong you could paint on it draw on it write on it glue on it whatever you want to do so that will be a page in here and again uh, you can see how I kept pulling things out and I have lots here I mean I could use a second of each of these and have plenty of paper in here but I want to add some uh, other little fun goodies too so I'm going to look around for the fun like a bingo card or whatever fun stuff like that so anyway stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video have a great day